The following techniques allow for the creative expression of ideas on stage. Narration is a simple yet effective technique for telling a story. While the narrator tells the story, the performers concentrate on bringing the words to life. Here is a short section from the story of Noah's Ark. And he was to build a boat. So he set about building a boat. And just then, it started to rain. So he called and gathered all the animals in. So in came the animals, two by two. First came the giraffes, big pair of giraffes. They came into the ark, followed by two elephants, two large elephants. And the lion, the big lion came in. And he called for the monkeys. In came the monkeys. <laughs> and the tigers. He brought the tigers in. And he gathered all the animals together on the ark. He told them not to worry. Don't worry, everybody. And then the rain began to pick up. It started raining. And he kept them all safe and dry. Everyone be calm. And the storms really began to rage. And the sea level began to rise. And the boats began to float. And soon they were again. Floating away. Thunder and the rain pelting down. And the lightning crashing. And Mr. Noah looked after the animals. Food and water. And then, all of a sudden, it stopped raining. And the sun came out. Look, everybody! And Mr. Noah sent out a bird, the dove. Check the land. And the dove came back with a message. It is safe to go back on land, everybody. And all the animals began to leave the boat. One man. The monkeys, the elephants, and the giraffe, and the lions and the tigers. In split screen, two separate locations can be seen together at the same time, one against the other. This is also known as juxtaposition. Here we see a travel agent selling a camping holiday on one half of the screen, and on the other, the experience of campers at the campsite. When using this technique, it is important to make sure that the dialogue and the action in the separate parts is organised so that the audience can focus where you want them well, to. what sort of holiday did you have in mind? Well, we were looking at the camping. I was trying to persuade my wife. Camping? Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I mean, camping today is so different to what it used to be. I mean, it's so luxurious. Oh, luxury. Oh, no, the water's coming in again over there. Oh, no, it's coming in over here as well. Oh, we should have gone to Buckins. Buckins have room. Oh, no, not again. And the cooking facilities. It's so easy. I mean, it's like being at home. Oh, you, you can do it like being <laughs> Right, OK, if I keep over here, we might be able to keep out of the wind for a second, all right? Just nice and Mac. Oh, all right. Go, we go oh. to McDonald's. And you'll meet so many wonderful people. So many new, new friends. Oh, that's brilliant. Why? Why don't you just be quiet? I can't get to sleep. It's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Shut up! It sounds wonderful. In flashback, we see a set of events and are then taken back to see how the events came about. Here we see an accident and what led up to it. Evening ladies, how are we doing this evening? Me and a friend of mine here, we were looking for a, a lift home and, and we were wondering, uh, could you give us one? Just a lift home. Or, or, 
How about we get some drinks? All right. Yeah. We'll get a few drinks. If I'm driving. Oh come on! It'd be brilliant. Get this man a drink. Less common than flashback, flash forward leaps the action into the future. Here, a pair of young children are talking about marriage, and the audience are taken into the future, where, as adults, the pair are experiencing a marital breakdown. We're going to live in a castle. Castle? With fairies. Fairies? Yeah. No such thing. Yes, there is. They wear pretty dresses. Like, I go to where when I get married. Dresses are for girls. That's because I am a girl. No, I ain't ever going to get married. Never going to get married. How long has it been going on? <laughs> what are you talking about? You were that... Oh, listen, you don't know what you're talking about. I've seen you in that little slab. I've seen you. I've seen you out. Oh, just leave it out, will ya? Leave it out? We've been married for years. Is yeah, I know. cheating on me? Oh, not all the time. How old is she? 18? Oh, just leave it out. What about the children? Oh, you can have the children. I don't oh, want the children. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've had them for the last five years without any help from you. Yeah, well, we've been together too long anyway. Finally. Choral speaking is a very ancient technique used in Greek theatre over 7,000 years ago. It still has a powerful impact on an audience. Down at the riverside looking for a love. Down at the riverside for young men. Loving. Waiting. For. By slowing the movement down, we can get more control over the action of an event. This can heighten the intensity of what is happening and allows the depiction of violent or chaotic events to be performed in safety. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah. I think you're going a little bit fast. There's a corner there and you're leaving with your headlights on. You should break. You're going too fast for a corner. Stop it! No! No! The group is making a series of sounds using clicks, claps and slaps to depict a rainstorm. A second attempt uses words to achieve the same effect. Performer as resource describes a type of performance where not only all the characters, but every narration, prop, set item and sound effect are provided by the performers. See how this group tell the story of a haunted house. 
I was driving down the lonely road when I put on the radio. KLO and London Radio. Ugh, yeah. And in the north today, it is cloudy with expectations of thunder and lightning. Okay. No! No! And then one of my old favourites came up. And just as I started to relax, the car started making some strange noises. And as he got out of the car, he saw through the trees a light. Bing! As he walked through the deep, dark forest. The deep, dark forest, he saw a huge manor house. And as I went towards the huge front door, it mysteriously opened. And just before he entered, the church clock chimed. Bong! 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 It was three o'clock. And in the main hall was a huge painting of Great Blackbeard the Pirate. Army parties! And by the open fire, there was a huge comfy chair where he sat down and fell asleep. The group is telling the story of how a small fire flares up and consumes an entire village. Theatre is a very inclusive art form where music, dance, images and crafts can be used with excellent effect. Like choral speaking, messenger technique is a well-established method of weaving elements of action into a story without having to see the actual events themselves. This is done through people who have witnessed something and report what they have seen. In this example, a group of people stay in a room but the audience is made aware of the events unfolding outside. Radio. Switch your radio on, see if they say anything. Yeah, go ahead, right. I repeat. A 40-foot monster has been sighted off the coast of England. God, that's it. Text message. I just got a text message from my friend saying that a 40-foot monster just ate a bus. <laughs> Can you believe it? A 40-foot monster ate a bus. Jesus really? Christ. Eyewitness. Um, I've, um, I've just seen this monster down at the bottom of the street. I'm not quite sure what I've seen, but it's pretty big. And it's coming up the road right now. Of course, I bet it's the one that can swim. And the one that was on the radio. And the one that ate a bus. 
and the one that's coming up the street right now. 